our takeout Tuesday for uh, this week. Our psalm reading is from Psalm 93, 93, which talks about the majesty of God's rule. And you'll notice uh, how uh, David talks about or compares really the people of God praising God to the waters that are stormy and roaring and foaming. And we get that here in Southwest Florida. We might compare uh, God's majesty and the ability to praise him to a good lightning storm or a good rainstorm. So listen up as we uh, not only praise, uh, acknowledge God's majesty, uh, but acknowledge it in our praise. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from old. You, O God, are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring, more majestic than the thunders of mighty waters, more majestic than the waves of the sea. Majestic is the Lord on high. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forever. And so you see the psalmist here, uh, first of all, acknowledges the majesty of the Lord like uh, a king or queen robed and sitting on the throne. And then, okay, what do we do? How do we respond to that majesty? We uh, praise the Lord like the roaring waters. And I love that. Uh, um, this is high praise. And that's a beautiful way to begin the day, to begin the morning, acknowledging the majesty of our God. And here in Southwest Florida, in Naples, in particular, we'd look out at a, at a sunny morning. We'd see the, the beauty of the sun uh, looking out and shining on the Gulf. And we'd say, look at the majesty of the Lord. And then that shapes our praise and our prayer for the rest of the day. Notice the psalmist ends with holiness, that we praise God not just with our song, but with lives of obedience and holiness to God. And so I wish you on this day that you acknowledge the majesty of God. And you mention that in your prayers all day long. Blessings to you. Bye-bye now.